what's up people welcome back to the channel so in today's video i will show you step by step how to submit a loan application and how to do it right okay how to do it right like how the right way for you to submit a loan application and get your loans approved uh, i'm talking about student loans so i'll pull up my laptop in today's video and show you examples using the popular um, student loan options and show you how to actually submit a good application and ensure the application um, gets approved so if you would find today's video helpful just keep watching i'll get to my laptop right now and we can get started with it so hey guys i will show you how to apply to empire finance really quickly so first thing is i'll drop this link in the description box so go click that link right now and once you're on this page just follow the video it's pretty easy so once you are on this page you you know this page takes you to where you check if empire works with your school and then they have a really long list here you can keep clicking but this is really long i think they sponsor like almost 500 schools and so instead of doing that um you know manual process you can just type the name of your school here so i will just start with university of toronto toronto in canada and um you can once you already see they sponsor your school then you're fine or you can type any school so i'm typing yale here as well so once you see they sponsor the school that you're that you're going um to then you don't have a problem you don't need to click the school or anything just come down here scroll down a bit and click apply now and this is where you get started um you you get started with the entire process so here they have a couple of questions Tell us about yourself. Um, I've been accepted to study is what you click here because you need to have an admission letter before you kind of try to apply to um, loan providers. So once you click that, how did you first hear about us? I'll just put social media and maybe select um, Facebook somewhere here. We go to the next page and this is where you type, um, you know, the name of your school. So let's go with that Toronto example right here, right? Um, okay, so, you know, these are the, you, here for some schools, you find specific like programs that they work with. So I can click Rotman School of Management, which is where their business school is. And you can click, you know, if you're going for a bachelor's degree, a master's, an MBA. So just click master's. And expected graduation date, you know, month and year. Um, you can click here May uh, 2024. I think um, if you're doing a two-year program and you're starting this year. So um, here you put your first name. This isn't my first name, but hey. I'll just use my shop forum, you know. <laughs> and have my email here as well all right hey guys um so once you fill the form we started filling it and um i just put in like my citizenship country and how much i think i want to borrow like forty thousand dollars and put in um for 2022 once you get to this point you just click you know to receive emails from empire and you acknowledge their privacy policy standard stuff um then you click check now they are just trying to check your eligibility which is very similar to like what prodigy does as well um so this will load for a while and i'll get back to uh we'll come back to it once this is done loading all right so here you um once you're done once you click and you're eligible they will show this pop-up basically talking about like they've set up your account and they sent you an email with, with a temporary password and um, if you basically if you need to like finish your application at a later time or later date you would need that password to access your accounts you know um, so now we can close this and fill this form and so just try to fill this form um, right now and I'll show you guys you know how I'm feeling my salutation <laughs> whatever that means um yeah so yeah they're going to ask for your immigration status here in canada because i'm using a canadian school um in this example 
So non-citizen, there are so many, there are a couple of options, permanent resident or non-citizen have or will need visa. Um, I already have a visa. You can click yes or no. Do you have a Canadian social ins um, insurance number? No. You know, you put your date of birth here. I'll just put something like 97. Y'all know I am older than that. <laughs> and put March here and um, maybe March 5th. Uh, your identification number. So this is likely your passport number. I'll just put what I remember. I don't actually remember anything. <laughs> um, yeah. So you continue filling the form and you ask for things like your email, your phone number, um, and then like your permanent address here. So, um, you will fill in like all of that detail. So address could be, um, let's say you have some address in, um, I have chosen that I live in Nigeria. So you put some address here. Um, Lagos. Yeah, just decide, you know, um, what you want to put here. Something like this. Yeah. So your current address. Um, yeah, do, so these are disclosures. If you want, you can read it. <laughs> um, but I'll just click that. I acknowledge that I have reviewed and I'll do the same right here and then save and continue so this is where they want to like they want you to tell them about like the program you're going in for so um here i started with university of toronto rockman masters um you know they want you to select a major maybe let's see i'm not sure um you know let's just click this one and is this a stem degree let's say you click yes are you a transfer student no uh, program starts date um july you know it's fine for you to put whatever it is you don't have gpa yet likely enrollment status um yet to start if you haven't because they also sponsor people that are currently in program so you will likely just click yet to start enrollment type um full-time likely program type on campus or blended or online if you have this student id if the school has already provided that you can share if not that's fine previous education you just fill in all of these things um let's say you went to uh, university of lagos like i did and that was in um, nigeria and your major was um what happened okay um and your gpa say you had 4.5 um you know test scores if you've taken the gmat or the gre verbal you had maybe 165 quant 163 um so you click that you know that's if you've taken any of these tests and then you save and continue okay here i need to select a degree that's what you did for your undergrad so that's like bachelor's in my case um language not required if that is the case for you uh what is happening um okay um so for your bachelor's you should also maybe um just click like what you studied i'm just going to click a random thing you know and let's see if it works all right so then you get to like employment information all right right here we employment information do you have a post-graduation job offer likely not <laughs> countries where you are authorized to work likely right now um just nigeria do you have an internship offer no desired career post graduation um you know um you can just you know type something 
desired work country you can type canada let's see if you can type more than okay so let's say you type canada british columbia because that's the place i visited <laughs> and then desired work city vancouver okay i love vancouver um employment history like how many years of experience do you have let's say you had more than four years experience um so they want you to put all of that information so i'll save you guys the details put in some information here and like get back to you quickly all right guys so while you're filling this employment information they're asking for like the last place you worked and stuff like that and if you want to add other employment so i just put dummy things like employment in nigeria and then now this is important information they are asking you for your annual income in us dollars so when you're filling this one put in your gross income and that is the mistake many people make they put in their net income they're asking you for your gross income before tax so state here what you earn um in your country but convert it to us dollars and um you know just like put that number the gross number now many of you may ask like what exchange rate do i use i think you should use the official exchange rates that like the central bank of your country um sees as what the official rate is so i'm just going to put a number here and like continue with the process So once you're do done with that um, employment process or employment form um, and you click continue, you get to like the funds required annually. So esti estimated tuition cost. So let's say the estimated tuition cost for one year. Remember, this program is a two year program. Let's say the ex uh, estimated tuition cost is thirty thousand um, dollars. Note that all of these things are in U.S. dollars. So even though you are applying to a Canadian school, they want you to put all these numbers in U.S. dollars. So that's just something to pay attention to. Cost of living um, for a year, let's say it's an additional ten thousand dollars. I'm just making all these things up. Additional expenses, let's say one thousand dollars, and then. Um, Semesters until graduation, maybe there are four semesters. Total estimated cost until graduation is eighty-two thousand dollars. They were the one, they calculated this um, for you, and that is based off of like what you filled here: thirty thousand dollars for each year, sixty thousand dollars, plus ten thousand dollars for each year um, makes it like eighty thousand dollars, and then two thousand dollars for additional expenses. That's how they got the eighty-two thousand dollars. Now, this is the most important part of this application. They are asking you for list of all sources separately, uh, like list all sources separately. Now, this is what I've been explaining in my videos. The total cost you need is $82,000. You need to show how you're going to pay for every dime of that, right? So the funding type here, you can put personal savings and... um. Uh, funding amount here you can put forty thousand dollars and then you need to add um you need to add like other uh, funding sources so let's say you had um scholarships and um from your school and you had scholarships of like ten thousand dollars now this is the total that you've accounted for you need eighty two thousand dollars now you've accounted for fifty thousand dollars which is basically uh, forty thousand dollars of personal savings and ten thousand dollars from the school um so this is how much the maximum loan amount the maximum total loan amount is 100k between now and graduation empower funds up to 50k for each academic period right so total empire funding request from now until graduation i was asking for ten uh, for forty thousand dollars even though what i really need from empire is thirty two thousand dollars so let's see if my forty thousand dollars still goes but here yeah, anything around thirty two thousand dollars will be fine so summary of your plan um you need eighty two thousand your funding sources is fifty thousand empire you know <laughs> um 
So this they're trying to say must be zero, which is what I've been explaining to you in my previous video. So I need to go back here and change this um and change something such that my total funding equals $82,000. So I can come here and change how much I'm asking from Empower, which is just change it to $32,000. $32, and that um funding request from now until graduation. And then this is like first Empower funding amount requested. Basically, um uh they're asking like how much you want from the school at the beginning so let's say twenty thousand dollars you know or if you if we split that by two that's sixteen thousand dollars um and this is for four so this is you know what it should be zero dollars here so please provide information on any other outstanding debts that you have uh do you have additional debt let's say no so they want you to just read this because this is truth in lending act they want to make sure all the things you've shared are like accurate information so you click this you click continue i'll see you on the other side so yeah guys this is where you review and submit um and they want you to upload all of these like government um id and other things so here you just click like maybe you're using your passport and then um everything is filled at this point you then click submit i wouldn't go this far but this is a final stage just click submit and you'll be done with this um part of you you know you'll be done with the empire application you guys see like this is super super simple but let me know in the comments if you have any question and i will just answer your questions but this is all it is there's nothing else this is super easy just make sure your numbers add up to like you know how much you really need that eighty two thousand dollars in this example you must account for every dime of it so maybe you have 40k in savings then you have to borrow like 42k just make sure the numbers add up and you'll be fine let me know in the comments if you have any questions about applying to empower finance or any trouble and i'll see you right in the comment section i'll see you in the next video but please don't forget to subscribe because i'll do more videos like this where i'll walk you through how you can really apply all right guys i'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye